okay so now let us discuss about the syllabus for this examination see this is the syllabus of 2024 exam so this syllabus may be tentatively in 2025 also they may follow this syllabus so what is the syllabus uh, in ricw exam they ask only three subjects okay ek three subject kya hai aapka english proficiency hai language proficiency teaching aptitude hai aur reasoning ability hai teen subject hai uska syllabus dekh lete hain dekho teen subject hai तीन सब्जेक्ट में क्या क्या सिलेबस है एक है आपका कॉम्प्रेहेंशन इंग्लिश में क्या है कॉम्प्रेहेंशन है मीन पैसेज कॉम्प्रेहेंशन मीन ऑन सीन पैसेज हियर इट इज ऑन सीन पैसेज रीडिंग कॉम्प्रेहेंशन रीडिंग कॉम्प्रेहेंशन बहुत कॉमन चीज है हर एक एग्जाम में पूछता है दूसरा इज रीअरेंजिंग सेंटेंसेस थर्ड वन इज सिलेक्टिंग स्विटेबल वर्ड फॉर द ब्लैंक्स फोर्थ वन इज एरर फाइंड आउट एरर इन द पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंसेस फिफ्थ वन इज योर फाइंडिंग आउट इक्वल एंड मीनिंग टू द गिवन फ्रेजेस Sixth one is finding out suitable words for the incomplete sentences. So next, sequencing, then grammar, synonym, antonym, idiom, preposition, tense, article, and some extra things. So for this, you need to uh, like you can follow this book. This this book is for uh, like that this particular subject, English proficiency or language proficiency. This book covers the entire syllabus of RICW examination. This this book also contains the previous year's question and around 600 plus practice question. And if if you see the index page, अगर आप इसका index page देखोगे तो you can see this is the content page. Exactly, जो भी official syllabus है, you will get everything as per the official syllabus. Okay. In this book, you will get the theory. You will get the theory part. Okay. Along with the theory, you will get the questions also. And along with the question. You will also get the answers and explanation. You will also get the answers and explanation. So this book is for uh, English prof uh, proficiency. Now the second subject that comes in R I C W examination is your teaching aptitude. For teaching aptitude, uh, there are around nine topics. That is, first one is your attitude towards education, children, and teaching profession. Second is your teaching interest or interest in teaching. Third is your leadership qualities and group management. Fourth is your emotional and social adjustment. Fifth is your intrapersonal and interpersonal skills. Sixth, digital initiative and pedagogy. Seventh, NEP 2020 and school education. Then NCBC 2023 and general awareness of contemporary issue pertaining to school education. So total nine units are there. In uh, here in English proficiency, you will get around twelve topics. Here in teaching aptitude, you will get around get around nine topics plus one that we add is basic of teaching aptitude. So for this, you can follow this book. this it is a little thicker book but it covers everything it is the best book which i can say for ricw examination and this is not i am not saying this thing students say this thing that they got many question from this book and i definitely recommend you about this book so if you see the like uh, content page then you can see that it, it covers everything related to the ri examination along with around 800 plus mcqs so it it covers every theories every topics in detail it covers every topics in details it covers every topics in details with very good diagrams and tables so to memorize the things and to understand the things properly you need you don't need to memorize the things actually you can understand everything properly along with that you have a lots of question in this in this book you have a lot of questions okay a lot of questions and along with the questions you will get the answers and explanations also you will get answers and explanation also so this is for teaching aptitude this book is for teaching aptitude now the next is your for english uh, reasoning for reasoning you will get uh, the syllabus from verbal non verbal reasoning missing number number series letter series theme finding jumbling analogy odd one out arranging the sentence in sequential form statement conclusion syllogism logical problem and establishing relationship apart from they ask some question from clock calendar and some other topics which are covered in this book these things are covered in this book and if you see the content page here everything is as per the official syllabus everything as per the official syllabus also in we had added some more topics so around 12 topics are there here in the syllabus but we have added 24 topics in this book you can see 24 topics why we have added some extra topics because are i asked some questions from like outside syllabus also so we have added everything in this book